This is how you go from a normal cargo van with no windows to having a stealth side window you can see out, but no one else can see in, at least during the day. The curtain is for the nighttime, when the light inside the van is brighter, which allows people to see in, and it's harder to see out. I'm going to show you how I installed all of this now. This is a beginner level install. We are using the urethane method, which is the most leak proof and up to date method. Anyone can easily do this on their own without professional help. There is one tool you absolutely need. This special caulking gun has a power ratio of at least 26 times the force of what your hand can comfortably pull. I am not sponsored by Van Windows Direct and make no money by sharing this. So besides a window that fits your particular van, you will also need at least one tube of urethane, the 26 to one caulk gun, a small tube of urethane primer, a drill with drill bits, a jigsaw with a metal cutting blade, a metal file, safety glasses, a Sharpie marker, a straight edge, and some window install tape. The trim lock is not required, but it helps make the install look professional and protects you from the sharp edges of the metal once you're done. All of these supplies are shown at checkout where I got all my specific tools. You can also buy some suction cups at Home Depot to help hold the window, but it's not entirely needed because you can just hold the window with your hands, but it does help you to line up the window better when you place it over the wet urethane. You might also want a vacuum cleaner to get up the metal shavings. Any primer mess ups can also be taken care of with some acetone. So let's start the install. First thing you wanna do is outline the entire cutout area of the van metal. This is super easy for a transit because you just trace the inside of the recessed part of the van metal. Use a ruler to go over the raised metal bridges. Wipe down the outside of the area now. Use painter's tape or the tape they include with the window install kits. Put it around the outside of the line you traced. This is for better visualization while cutting and so you don't accidentally cut into the metal parts on the outside. Cover the floor or anything around and below the part you will be cutting. Metal shavings will be flying around everywhere during this cut and they will be hard to get out of fabrics and crevices. Put your protective eyewear on now and gloves if you wish. I first tried to use an angle grinder to cut out the frame. There were way too many sparks and metal shavings going into my face and it just wasn't working too well. So instead we are going to use a jigsaw. With your drill, make a hole inside the area where the window will go. Big enough for the bit of the jigsaw to fit into. This is to start the cut. Now carefully cut along the line you made. Try using a consistent speed and do not rush the process. Cuts are irreversible. A jigsaw blade can bend, so make sure you are looking to see if you are cutting at the right spot constantly. Make sure you have a metal bit for the jigsaw and not one for cutting wood. While going around corners, you can always cut into the inside that will be thrown out anyway, so you don't necessarily need to make a perfect round angle in one cut. Turning the jigsaw too fast can make it bind up, so just go slow and steady. Before cutting, it all the way around. Put suction cups on the outside and have someone hold it so it doesn't just fall out. Look at all these metal shavings we caught. This would be all over my electronics below otherwise. Now you wanna take your metal shavings tool and dull any sharp metal around the edges. Peel off all the tape. Keep going around until all the metal is filed down. One thing to note I was very concerned with Cutting this metal away does not actually deteriorate the structural integrity of the van's frame. It's still stiff as a rock. Since you are done cutting and grinding, go around the entire van with a vacuum cleaner and get up all the dust and shavings. You won't want these to get into your skin and eyes down the road. Here's the caulk gun we talked about. Again, I must say, do not attempt to use a regular caulk gun from Home Depot. You need one that has a ratio of at least 26 to one. Using even this is hard enough with the extremely thick urethane that you have to squeeze out. Time to install the trim lock around the inside part of the metal. This does not touch the outer frame. This makes it look better after the install and hides the open metal so you don't cut yourself later. Push it on all the way around one bit at a time, making sure you push it on tightly together. Use a mallet or hammer on it if needed. 
cut the slack and make sure the ends push against each other a good bit to keep it tight around the entire frame. Put on your urethane primer. It's just a small tube, but there will be plenty. You only need a small line around the metal on the outside like so. Don't push too hard or you'll have drips like I had here. Don't worry though, acetone and a rag works to get it off. You may want to get some before starting the install. I had a few accidents myself that would have left an unsightly mess because it drips black paint fluid down the van if pressed too hard. This dries almost instantly and does not come off with just water and a cloth. With your bottle of urethane, cut the nozzle to look like this. It will come out properly and in the correct shape that professional installers do. Do a primary thorough clean of the inside of the glass before putting on any urethane. You won't want to take too much time between installing the urethane to the time you press the glass into it. Also press the suction cups onto the outside of the window now for later. Now right over the edge leaving just a tiny bit of room Use the urethane gun to squeeze a layer like this all the way around onto the primer you put up before. This will ensure a tight hold. Using the gun here, try to make the line of urethane as constant as possible with no breaks. This will get a little tiring, but hold in there. Start the line at the bottom for best results and go all the way over the top with one extended line without breaking. This part is actually easy, but if you mess up and do an inconsistent line, you could have leaks later and possibly need to reinstall the window. If you did mess up or make a few more breaks than you should have, go back over it once and flatten it out with this tool. Once you make sure everything is good and ready, Clean the window one last time and grab the outside with the suction cups. Carefully bring it around, line it up with the van metal, and push it on gently at first. Now line it up better, pushing it up or down to get it centered in the correct position. You can see we already had window install tape on the window ready to be taped to the van to hold it in place. This step is absolutely necessary. The window has weight to it and will slide down over time if not taped in place while it is drying. Put a heavy amount of tape around the window like we did. I didn't record myself putting on the sticker, but I'm going to show you how to install it. Buy a vinyl perforated sticker online. Almost all of them will not be laminated. If it rains, you will not be able to see out of your window, but that's okay because it's just while it rains. The rain fills in the tiny holes of the sticker and blurs all vision. If you get a laminated one, the rain will not be able to beat up inside the hole, so you still will be able to see out. These are more expensive and much harder to find. I actually gave up on my search trying to find one. First, take your sticker and peel off only half of the backing. Line up the sticker top to bottom and side to side. Then push all the way across the middle. You can use a credit card or a small squeegee to install it more easily. This stuff stretches very easily, so do not pull it and do not push hard with your card. One part at a time, push the sticker down. This process takes a while, take your time. Do the bottom half first, then take off the backing of the sticker for the top. Now repeat going upwards this time. Once you have the sticker on the entire van, you will have to trim off all the edges. This is the most crucial part. Use a very sharp box cutting knife. Use a new blade only. Angle the blade towards the window while cutting off the excess sticker and you will do it properly. You have to get it as close to the window as you can or else it will peel off in high winds or rain or weather. For the window curtain, first I framed out the base of the window sill below. Then I screwed in the two sidebars of wood the curtain mounts on. At this point, the curtain is secure but not held close to the window. So I added thicker wood over the top of these bars to cover the sides of the curtain. Light does not shine through and the curtain is held close to the window. I used wood stain and three coats of polyurethane. Okay guys, so this is the end of the video. If you liked it, subscribe and share, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.